Okay. Okay. Good afternoon to all the participants. Uh, I'm here um, on behalf of the Department of Social Sciences and Economics, so I'm very pleased and honored to guest here in our department this uh, initiative and uh, so the workshop in, uh, on innova innovation in heritage to t t um, 10 years later. So I was not you know, here 10 years later, so I'm very pleased to see how your reflection uh, is, uh, is developing. And, you know, we gather here to reflect on a topic that resonates at the core of our societies, the value of the heritage and the importance of innovation in, the, in this domain. Um, social and economic sciences play an important role in this uh, domain and have contributed very much during, you know, several years, I would say decades, in the uh, protection and valorization of the heritage. We have with us Michele Trimarchi and uh, Lia Fassari, which are my colleague and friends since many, many years. And I think that they are a very good example of uh, economists on one side, sociologists on the other side, that have worked constantly in the realm of economics and sociology of uh, cultural process. And they show how it is important to use uh, several tools and uh, interdisciplinarity to understand and to uh, develop you know, the um, protection and the uh, valorization of the uh, heritage. Uh, as an economist, uh, I am particularly aware of how crucial it is to recognize and appreciate the complex interconnection um, between heritage on the one side and the economy. Um, at the first, you know, heritage may seem to belong mostly and exclusively to the realm of history, art and uh, tradition, while when we look at the heritage through the lens of the economics uh, and through the lens of the uh, social sciences, the relevance expands even further. And uh, cultural heritage is not, cultural heritage is not just a link uh, to our past. In, I think it needs to be approached in a quite dynamic way and perspective. It is a living asset which, uh, um, which has uh, uh, quite profound implications for the present, for the future, uh, and uh, it evolves in society, adapting to new contexts and new uh, economic and social uh, scenarios. Uh, heritage, whether it is tangible, and you know, we live in a city like Rome in which there are a lot of tangible, uh, tangible uh, heritage, like historic buildings, monuments, etc. And I hope that you will have the time to enjoy that. And also when it is intangible, I think of customs, languages, knowledge, uh, they provide a um, basis for identity and social cohesion. And uh, in addition to the cultural significance, um, uh, of the uh, heritage, um, the heritage itself plays a crucial role in economic development and the preservation, the promotion, the uh, sustainable use of cultural um, assets can create new jobs, uh, can stimulate tourism and uh, you know, develop also the associated industries, enhance regional attractiveness and contribute to economic resilience. Uh, if we look at the indirect relation between heritage and the economic development, we can say also that heritage increased the value of surrounding areas and encourage investment and promote innovation. Promote innovation. The social sciences, uh, through an interdisciplinary uh, collaboration, are very um, good, I believe, in providing the tools to analyze both, uh, to, to analyze uh, how communities uh, perceive, interact, and benefit from their, their, their heritage. And it can offer the tools to guarantee and pro protect the heritage, uh, ensuring that it remains a source of identity and prosperity uh, also for future generations. Our department is a department, as I mentioned initially, of uh, social science and economics. And I think that within the department, we have the competences as well as a very important you know uh, interest towards those kind of uh, issues and so i think that you know in the days that will uh, pass through this day through this week you will have very interesting you know this discussion and uh, 
simulation and um, ideas uh, that may, you know, be uh, nurtured by the um, our colleagues that are going to be uh, present during the discussion. Uh, policies that support uh, equitable access to heritage encourage participation in its preservation and promote local development to guarantee that the benefits of heritage uh, are shared widely in terms of access, but also sustain, uh, in, a sustainable, uh, in a sustainable uh, way. Uh, today we start our uh, discussion <laughs> Uh, and, you know, uh, to this uh, end, uh, let's try to keep in mind the importance of bridging the gap between cultural heritage and the economic and social system that sustain it. Together, I think that we can reaffirm that the value of the heritage extends beyond the uh, boundaries of time and of geography, and that the social and economic sciences are essential to uh, unlock its, pot its full uh, potential. Thank you for choosing our department as a uh, location to organize the workshop. Thanks to Michele Trimarchi, which was the um, initiator hmm, of the initiative, <laughs> and to Lia Fassari, which is uh, my colleague uh, that follow all the organization and also the content, of course, of the workshop. And uh, I really and we really look forward um, to the insights and the ideas that uh, will emerge, I'm sure, from our collaboration. Thank you and good. Have a good uh, beginning.